Hey guys. This is Space Train. Your daily express till the edge of the space. And today we will talk about Twin Paradox. Grab your tickets and let's go. Don't forget to subscribe to get unlimited pass on our expedition. Twin Paradox, an apparent anomaly that arises from the treatment of time in German-born physicist Albert Einstein's theory of special relativity. The counterintuitive nature of Einstein's ideas makes them difficult to absorb and gives rise to situations that seem unfathomable. For example, suppose that one of two identical twin sisters flies off into space at nearly the speed of light. According to relativity, time runs more slowly on her spacecraft than it does on Earth. Therefore, when she returns to Earth, she will be younger than her Earth-bound sister. But in relativity, what one observer sees as happening to a second one, the second one sees as happening to the first one. To the space-going sister, time moves more slowly on Earth than it does in her spacecraft. When she returns, her Earth-bound sister is the one who is younger. How can the space-going twin be both younger and older than her Earth-bound sister? The answer is that the paradox is only apparent, for the situation is not appropriately treated by special relativity. To return to Earth the spacecraft must change direction, which violates the condition of steady straight-line motion central to special relativity. A full treatment requires general relativity, which shows that there would be an asymmetrical change in time between the two sisters. Thus, the paradox does not cast doubt on how special relativity describes time which has been confirmed by numerous experiments. We already talk about this in our latest video called What is Time Dilation? You can see link of that video down below. One of the latest proofs of twin paradox are, identical twins Mark and Scott Kelly. Former NASA astronaut Scott Kelly's historic one-year mission aboard the International Space Station ISS, made his identical twin Mark an even older brother. The unprecedented jaunt which ended on 2016 March, brought Scott Kelly's total time in orbit to 520 days, all of which he spent zooming around Earth at 17,500 miles per hour, 28,160 kilometers per hour. Mark Kelly said so, whereas, I used to be just 6 minutes older, now I am 6 minutes and 5 milliseconds older, so if 10 years from now, I look like I'm 60 and he looks like he's 80, you'll know what happened, and one more interesting fact about this is the, Scott's DNA has changed compared to his brothers, the change related to only 7% of the gene, expression that changed during spaceflight, had not returned to pre-flight after 6 months on Earth. This change of gene expression is very minimal. We are at the beginning of our understanding of how spaceflight affects the molecular level of the human body. NASA and the other researchers collaborating on these studies, expect to announce more comprehensive results. So what you think is more mind-blowing? That you can change how your time flows, or that Einstein predicted this without experiments 100 years ago? There are lots of questions left, so don't space out, and leave some space in your brain for answers. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, subscribe and click the bell button, to get notifications on our latest videos. If you are still here, grab your knowledge and get out of my train.